good evening to everyone uh, so myself cm vivek working as assistant professor in department of mechanical engineering periyar manimai institute of science and technology so today we are going to discuss on a topic about lean manufacturing so before going into the topic so what are the course objectives so the objectives of this courses are to understand and identify various waste stages to understand the key concepts and principles of lean to acquire knowledge on common lean methods and tools and their applications to eliminate waste and create more value for the customers so the content of the courses are so we are going to see what is meant by lean what are the types of waste stages so the key key concepts in lean and uh, what are the various tools used in eliminating the waste stages and uh, we are going to give some assessment based on this course actually so in case if you are, if you don't have any idea about manufacturing let me go through manufacturing first actually manufacturing is a process in which we are going to convert raw materials into output or any input into output actually so the connecting point between input and output is the process so in this process we are going to eliminate the waste actually that is called lean manufacturing any other any process involving input is just going to be transferred into output involving a process in the center so in the process we are going to eliminate the waste actually that is called as lean manufacturing so uh, according to definition lean manufacturing is a, a systematic approach to identifying and eliminating the waste through continuous improvement by flowing the product at the pull of the customer in pursuit of perfection so you can see in this graph by eliminating the waste by continuous improvement what we are able to produce is we can improve the quality we can improve the speed or time which is taking which uh, the product is made we can improve the results the overall efficiency of the machine or any asset etc and we can considerably reduce the cost associated with it so cost we are going to reduce by means of eliminating the waste so that is called as lean manufacturing lean manufacturing is nothing but we are going to eliminate the wastages first of all we need to identify what is meant by waste what are the types of waste and we are going to eliminate this waste so we are going to types of wastages actually so before going to these types of wastages what is meant by waste so waste means something that is not add that is not adding value to your product that is called as waste so in this uh, industrial practices we are uh, classifying the waste stages into seven categories tim wood t i m double w double o d so t means transportation waste i means inventory waste m means motion waste w mean waiting waste o means over processing or production and defects waste actually these uh, different type of wastages are accumulated in a product from its uh, input when it is come converting into output actually so for example when a peep when a worker is uh, carrying uh, some of the materials he is uh, he is carrying those material from one place to another which may take uh, too much time which can consume lot of time in it so uh, when we are planning a layout design we can able to Uh, keep this uh, be able to keep the plant layouts in here it will be reduce the motion or transportation waste etc actually so we are going to discuss these examples later so before that i am just uh, giving a small hint of what are the different waste stages uh, which is included in lean manufacturing so the principles of lean manufacturing includes value so value means anything adds value is considered to be good actually so specifying the value means it can be esteem value it can be uh, <clears throat> cost value it can be exchange value whatever might be it should be a product should have every particles every component should be added a value on it so what we are going to do in lean manufacturing is we are going to specify the value identify the value stream make value creating step flow and uh, let us uh, let us pull the product from the customers so that we need to strive towards the perfection so whatever customer is expect from us we are going to give it without anything actually so without anything means we are going to eliminate those wastages why the product is having this this thing when the customer is not asking for these sort of things actually that is what we are asking we are going to eliminate those wastages some of the tools for lean manufacturing are pyes you already know that it is an famous industrial practice in japan where Uh, everything is commonly ordered everything etc poco cellular manufacturing kanban kaizen continuous improvement quick change over etc some of the lean manufacturing tools 
is mainly focused around one thing actually how wastages can be eliminated how they can be identified and how value of the product can be improved these are the things the lean manufacturing uh, is uh, mainly for actually so let me go through this example so there is an uh, five workstations so each workstation is uh, taking order from another workstation and giving instruction to another workstation so let me let me see you that so the second one is giving instruction to third and the second is not getting any information from anyone actually so it is good actually the third one is giving information to fourth and receiving information from two so if, if this order is like this there is an un, there is an interrupted movement in between everything actually so that what happened here is uh, what happened here is there is an interrupted motion between everywhere actually so that when we are able to identify where is the uh, mistake here where the people are transporting or waiting etc etc we can able to identify the wastages and we can plan and lay out according to it so there if the new plan based on lean manufacturing one is transferring to two two is three three is to four four is to five so there is a no waiting spot or there is no ideal place for anything actually the, the process is smooth and we can get a good efficiency good uh, 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 percentage of output etc by introducing the lean concept so another one example is so in the, there is two pictures in this in this fox picture if you notice that a man is uh, kneeling on his leg and uh, taking the brick and he is arranging he is standing over again and arranging the bricks on a compound wall actually so it may it may, it may look like it is an easy process but uh, the time the energy he spent is too much actually he is uh, unwanted human motion he is spending he is uh, well uh, uh, <coughs> while uh, placing the bricks in a proper order it also makes a time etc etc but in the second slide he is using a uh, jack where the bricks are mounted on it the top he is not kneeling or anything he is simply standing uses one of his hands picking the brick and uh, placing the stones in order so uh, what is the major difference between the two is the time spent is minimized the work motion spent by his human body is minimized so uh, while in the first picture the motion uh, the time spent by him is too much actually after uh, one hour he will take rest for at least 20 or 15 minutes but in this case uh, his body can do much more work and uh, the comfortness of his body or comfortness of his work is higher actually and then he can be able to work on perfection because his body is not that much tired. This is the one of the examples for lean manufacturing. So now I am going to give an assessment for you. Uh, so consider in this figure three colors represent three workstations and their supply network. So now what have you what you need to do is to identify the wastages and eliminate the wastages by designing a new layout. Uh, pause this video and please answer the question on the comment below comment section below actually so i hope you have understand the basic concepts of lean manufacturing if any doubts please free feel free to post in my blog uh, <clears throat> thank you